Members of Congress are also headed home for Memorial Day, even though the fight over raising the debt ceiling is still going on. Sources tell CBS News the two sides are making progress with just six days to go before the Treasury's deadline. Nancy Cordes is at the White House. Nancy, good morning. Where do we stand at this point? Good morning. Well, our sources are telling us that Republican lawmakers and White House negotiators are getting very close to a deal to raise the nation's borrowing limit. Now, there are still some issues to be worked out, but they do appear to be closing in on a set of terms that, most importantly, would stave off a default for about two years. We are on approach on so many issues. New signs a deal could be close at hand after another late night for negotiators. We've been talking to the White House all day. We're going back and forth, and um, it's not easy. Sources familiar with the talk say the deal under discussion would cap overall federal spending levels for the next two years. Military and veterans funding would increase slightly next year, while domestic spending would dip slightly or remain flat. Speaker McCarthy and I have a very different view of who should bear the burden of additional efforts to get our fiscal house in order. Republicans have been insisting on cuts in exchange for their votes to raise the nation's borrowing limit, which must happen within the week or the Treasury Secretary says she'll start to run out of funds to pay the nation's bills. $25 billion worth of Social Security checks are scheduled to go out the door next Friday. The ratings agency Fitch just placed America's AAA credit rating on a downgrade watch list. A default would throw this economy into a recession. It would mean an immediate spike in interest rates. It would cause real economic harm to families across the country. Republicans had been seeking 10 years worth of spending caps that would have driven domestic spending down by 20 to 30 percent. Some conservatives are already questioning whether the emerging compromise goes far enough. You're talking about raising the debt ceiling a significant amount of money. We got to get significant, um, you know, changes in return. But this deal, if it does come together, is not designed to get every Republican vote, nor will it get every Democrat. It just needs to get enough of both to pass the House and Senate in time to prevent what would be the first default in U.S. history. Tony. Time is running short, though. Nancy, thank you very much.